My name is Robert Falcone. I'm a trauma and critical care surgeon. I've spent most of my career in Central Ohio. I've run trauma programs as a medical director. I've been a hospital CEO. I've been a chief of staff at three VA medical centers. Most recently, I was with the Ohio Hospital Association where I ran population health programs for the Hospital Association for the state of Ohio. About two and a half years ago, I had the opportunity to come to the Columbus Medical Association and its affiliates to lead these organizations. I thought this was a great way to continue doing public good in Central Ohio, an area that I've lived for almost 40 years. Columbus Medical Association, formerly known as the Academy of Medicine, has been around over 100 years. We've always been a public good organization. But in the last uh, year and a half, we've really been pushing to become a public good organization with members rather than a membership organization who does public good. The CMA provides leadership and oversight for a number of its affiliates. The first is the Physician's Care Connection, formerly known as the Free Clinic. This organization provides real and virtual care to the most vulnerable people in Central Ohio. In addition, it helps to case manage these people, connect them with specialists, and helps to manage newly pregnant women who otherwise might not get the care they need early on in their pregnancy. The Central Ohio Trauma System has been around over 20 years. It is a collaboration of trauma centers and hospitals in the region who come together to improve the care of the injured and critically ill patient. They collaborate on research, on quality improvement, on a number of uh, projects that help to ease the care continuum from pre-hospital to hospital to post-hospital. The group comes together with the help of a number of grants from the federal government to assure that we are prepared for mass casualty situation. COTS is the largest provider of specialty trauma care for clinicians in the United States. The Physician Leadership Academy is a one-year certificate program that teaches physicians not only the science of leadership, but also the art of mindfulness. We are on our fifth year, and our previous four cohorts have already been deeply involved in a number of leadership positions in Central Ohio. The Columbus Medical Association Foundation helps to support all these and other projects. It is a well-run foundation with a dedicated board that continues to support projects that are important for the public good. In addition, it has a smaller group called the Youth Advisory Group that allows high school students to come together and grant small grants to a number of kid-friendly projects in Central Ohio. We have a Physicians Action Committee, which is really the advocacy arm of the CMA, and what we advocate for is the public good. The last organization that was started by the Columbus Medical Association but has now spun off as a separate 501c3 is the Healthcare Collaborative of Greater Columbus, formerly known as Access Columbus. This group brings together a diverse number of providers, payers, and community people to help talk about an organized, uh, evidence-based comprehensive care, community-based quality improvement, medical neighborhoods, and deep and significant dialogue with the payers. All these organizations have one main purpose, and that is the public good in Central Ohio, and I'm very excited to be part of that.